This is Jim Ball reporting in Springfield. I'm at Northcrest Medical Center, specifically their new 500 building, where Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center, or VIC, has established a new location. And uh, I'm going to sit down and talk with uh, Michael Nuis. Uh, he's a medical doctor, a chief medical officer uh, for the Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center. And he's also a medical oncologist, and I guarantee you, much smarter than I. So he's going to give us a breakdown on uh, exactly what Northcrest and Vanderbilt Medical Center are doing here right in our own backyard. Uh, Jim, we're here because we, the faculty and the physicians at Vanderbilt, uh, understand that taking care of people in their home community is a real advantage to those people. They don't have the hassle factor of coming into Vanderbilt's campus. They get more efficient and more convenient care, and we can bring our um, expertise out here. We can also take tissue from the patients and bring that down to Vanderbilt and study it, and that helps us do uh, and learn more about a patient's particular cancer and about cancer in general. How big of a deal do you think it is to a cancer patient not to have to drive all the way to Vanderbilt for every single part of the treatment? I, I I think it's a huge deal. Um, it's, cancer is a disease of the elderly, um, and cancer is a d debilitating and difficult disease. Even if you're doing well with the cancer and you're in great shape, the treatments are hard. And that time spent in the car driving down to Nashville, that time spent in the traffic jams that inevitably occur going into Nashville, um, is time better spent at home resting and gaining your strength and enjoying your family. As, a, as an oncologist, you, you want to deal with the stress of the patient as well. If you can keep that low, doesn't that increase their odds of survival or success of the medicine itself? I, I, it's a great question. It's a common belief, and unfortunately or fortunately, it's not true. The stress of the situation makes it very difficult for a patient, but there have been lots of good studies looking at whether the patient who is more stressed out by their cancer dies sooner, and the short answer is they don't. But they certainly enjoy life a lot less. They certainly find it more exhausting and debilitating to go through treatment. So even though it doesn't affect the ultimate outcome, the cure rate of cancer, your emotional uh, uh, um, uh, approach to it, it's an important factor in, in patients and how they face cancer. So we're going to call it quality of life then? We are going to call it quality of life, absolutely. So um now let's go high tech. Um, you had mentioned earlier that um, when we were chatting, uh, there were some genetic uh, markers that you were looking for, some data, then you were reaching out in several directions for. Tell me about that. The, the last 10 years have, have resulted in a huge switch in the way we see cancer. We used to see cancer as a disease of one organ or another. You have lung cancer, or you have colon cancer, or you have lymphoma. Now we see cancer as a disease of a particular genetic abnormality on top of your own genetic makeup. And the combination of those two things lead to both the cancer itself and how your body reacts to it. We find that by studying the genomic makeup of tumors, which is really what our whole focus is on in terms of cancer treatment now, um, we're able to bring new treatments to patients and really make a difference to an increasing number of patients. In recent studies we've done in breast cancer, lung cancer, and melanoma at Vanderbilt, we found, find that just under 50% of the tumors have a particular genetic mutation that we can approach with specific medication. These are preliminary results, but it's really exciting. So you're here at Northcrest. Uh, talk to me about your relationship with Northcrest. Um, Vanderbilt and Northcrest have an affiliation agreement to try to work together to uh, bring Vanderbilt level care to the community and, and to let us enjoy the higher efficiency of care for, for more routine conditions here at Northcrest Hospital. Um, no one knows what the next year brings in terms of political developments in this country. No one knows if the Affordable Care Act will survive, but it seems clear that we are going to move towards more bundled care, more uh, accountable care organization type of models. And, and in order to do that effectively, the community hospital needs a, a, a wide net partner to take the patients with more difficult, more unusual, more unusual conditions. And the tertiary care medical center needs a partner in the community who can take care of the simple things well. 
and by well I mean with, with really comparable outcomes to what are achieved at the best medical centers around the country. Northcrest really does that for routine conditions. Well, uh, let me say welcome to um, Robertson County and uh, thanks for giving Smokey your time today. It's great to be here and I hope this fall I see a couple of Smokey Barns. The addition of Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center to our community will be a huge asset. No longer will our patients have to drive to Nashville for that cancer care. They can find it conveniently here at Springfield on the Northcrest campus. We're so happy to have them here on campus and what that means for our patients and our community. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. This has been Jim Ball reporting for SmokeyBarn.com's Robertson County Daily at Northcrest Medical Center in Springfield. The Springfield Antique Barn, located at 700 Willow Street in downtown Springfield, has over 30,000 square feet of antiques and collectibles. More than the eye can take in in a single day. So set a day aside and come out and consult with one of their many experts to help you find that precious gem you're looking for. Only 20 minutes from Nashville, they're easy to find in downtown Springfield. Come on by, you'll be glad you did.